you may not necessarily be ready to believe it yet, yep. but you absolutely. but you have to acknowledge that it's yeah. the truth yes. yeah, and still yes. speak it out. Like I, I remember when I was, um, the, the, the longest stretch of depression that I faced was right after my diagnosis when I was 11. And so my granddad, like my mom's dad, one of the sweetest little old men, he just wanted to bring joy to the house and he brought craziness he brought drums and a guitar and an amplifier and my parents were like thanks we yeah. did that. but he, he taught us he taught us how to play instruments and the mm. first song that my sister and I played was Amazing Love by Newsboys and I Amazing yes. Love how yes. can yes thank be. you okay Newsboys yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but I, I like to use that like when I'm when I'm like speaking to parents especially I really like to use that example as the, impar the importance of investing yes. intentional music, especially yes. in your children's yes. lives, yes. because I can only imagine if the well, another one, but I can only imagine the first if the first song that I like learned how to play was something about like shaking my hiney or kissing yeah. some boy, you know, so like true. it would have changed the entire trajectory yeah. of my life. But at that age in my life, the only music I knew was Newsboys, yeah. Natalie Grant, Out of yeah. Eden, CC Winans, and so, so even though I was struggling I with believing it. I, it's all I knew. Yeah. Yeah. And so I was speaking truth and singing yeah. truth over my life and so into my good. home. And then I started to believe in it. And I still, I actually still do that now. And it's not all, always with music, but yeah. I started this maybe in college of like, when you were talking about the things that we oftentimes think about ourselves that we won't yes. say out loud. I say, I say whatever I'm thinking out loud, mm -hmm. but I force myself, I choose to speak truth right after it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll oftentimes mm -hmm. walk around the house, like just by myself and say, I feel so unattractive, but God is so good and he loves me so much. So I'll choose to yes, like acknowledge good. what I'm thinking so I don't end up sitting in my room for hours just thinking these sad thoughts. Yeah. And I'll, I'll acknowledge them and I'll say them out loud, but immediately after it, I'll say, but what does yeah. God say about this? Mm -hmm. And I'll speak that out loud and yes. I journal it, all, all that stuff, because it, it's become such a good yeah. tool for me to say like, mm -hmm. I know I know the word of God to be yeah. true. Yes. I know what he says yeah. about me. I Come know on. what he says about his children. Um, I know the promises that he has for my life and even That's though good. whether it's my anxiety or my stubbornness or my brattiness whatever it is won't let me soak it in I know in my heart that what the truth is and I know it's louder hi everybody I hope you enjoyed this video subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload thanks for being a part of our better together community